I just got back from the airport to pick up my friend. I thought it'd be a nice little fun trip to go to the airport in my hijab and see just to see what happens. My friend was flying in from San Francisco to the Ontario airport. So I picked her up. When I got there, first thing I saw were cops. There was a cop following me around the dog, but like far away, so I wouldn't notice it. It was evident that there was a dog behind me, maybe five feet away from me the whole time. I would have to say that children are the most truthful people in the world. Usually throughout this whole time, yes, we've heard it time and time again. I just get lots of stares. But this was different because with children, they are the most truthful people in the world. So inst instead of the usual like, oh, she saw me, stare. It was more of the not stopping staring at you because children, they, they don't, they really know. So, you know, they probably have never seen someone in a job. So they were just stare like the children that did see me stared for a long while and would just hold it there as they walked on by holding mommy's hand. Usually I get stares, but I'd say this is the first time I've experienced people looking at me and with fear. One Asian man gave me a little, maybe that not, maybe not that dramatic, maybe like a little. Yeah, I'd have to say in the city of Ontario, I've never, people stare longer. I don't know if it's because I'm in a different city or it's a little bit further from, you know, LA. Almost like they didn't have any shame. It was more of the... And I was like, whoa, I, I, I see you staring at me. But you don't care that I see you staring at me, kind of thing. That was pretty much it at the airport. I wasn't there for long. But after the airport, we went to dim sum. And let me tell you, already at dim sum, when I come in, n not being not Chinese, I already don't get paid attention to. When I walked in, it was as if the record had stopped. Awkward! I guess just, it's harder to get their attention because I can't speak Chinese. Maybe because I'm not Chinese and I'm Filipino. Me coming in as a Muslim, that just made things, like, I almost, like, just never got my food. As they passed by the with their carts, they usually don't stop and I had flagged them down, but they, it was like, I was invisible. It was like I wasn't even there. I mean, of course I ended up getting my food, because, you know, I just really... Hello! Hello, I'm here, I'm hungry! I was pretty much ignored the whole time. Nobody checked up on us. Nobody asked us for if we needed any help. It could just be the service that they do have at dim sum places. But I'm not trying to say anything, so don't take anything offensively. Overall, I would have to say that me coming home and trying to see how cities surrounding my hometown would react. I think it's kind of surprising that we live in California. It's supposed to be one of, we live in Los Angeles, mind you. It's supposed to be one of the biggest melting pots of, you know, like so many different cultures. Yet people still are not exposed to certain cultures, certain backgrounds, and they still act the way that they do. It's a surprise that people don't really know how to react to different people. It's a surprise that people still get surprised when they see someone that's not like themselves. I can't believe people aren't a little bit more polite. I can't believe how shameless people can be at times. When they do stare, they just don't stop. It's funny that we live in the country that we do, the land of the free. We're supposed to have equal rights. It's supposed to be the land of equality. People just can't find it in themselves or even just breaking through those stereotypes that we've built in our minds. It's kind of really sad how much we think we've evolved, but we really haven't.